U.S. presidents and other leaders are gathering in Atlanta on Tuesday afternoon to bid farewell to Rosalind Carter at a church memorial ceremony that is among several ceremonies planned through Wednesday in honor of the former First Lady. The motorcade carrying his casket departed Tuesday morning from the Jimmy Carter Presidential Library and Museum, where he rested peacefully Monday evening. After a short journey, it arrived at 12.30. His grandson, Jason Carter, told CNN that the invitation-only service would be exactly what he envisioned, adding that he designed the program himself. Guests arrive before a memorial service for former First Lady Rosalind Carter at Emory University's Glen Memorial Church on November 28 in Atlanta. Bryn Anderson Poole, we do exactly what he wants in the service, Jason Carter said. He would be amazed and satisfied by the outpouring of love and support. CNN's Jake Tapper hosts special coverage of the service. His grandson said he was quite physically weak and planned to stay but would not make any statements. He really can't physically do this, said grandson Jason Carter. I would say he's at the end of his life. So the family doesn't have an expectation of how long he'll be around. But we all know he wouldn't miss it for the world. He added. A military honor guard carries casket of the late United States First Lady Rosalind Carter through. Jimmy Carter Presidential Library and Museum on November 28, 2023, en route to her memorial service. Eric S. Lesser Pool All four of the Carter's children will attend the memorial service. And their 11 surviving grandchildren are also expected to attend. A Carter Center spokesman said there. His family said he received hospice care for two days. Before his death. Ceremonies honoring the life and legacy Rosalind Carter began across Georgia on Monday, with a motorcade from her small hometown of Plains to Atlanta, where she rested for a few hours as hundreds of people came to pay their respects. En route to Atlanta on Monday, the former First Lady's motorcade also made several brief stops at her alma mater, Georgia Southwestern State University where officials laid wreaths at a bronze statue dedicated to her. The retreat was held Monday evening at the Jimmy Carter Presidential Library in Atlanta. On Tuesday morning, a departure ceremony was held at the Carter Presidential Center before Rosalind Carter's motorcade departed for the church. Vice President Kamala Harris, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp and Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens are also expected to attend. Rosalind Carter's surviving grandchildren will serve as honorary pallbearers. The Carter Center said. The ceremony will include some of Rosalind Carter's favorite scripture passages and songs. According to the center, country musicians Garth Brooks and Tricia Yearwood, who participated in Habitat for Humanity projects in honor of the Carters, are also expected to perform. A private funeral service for family and invited friends is planned.